What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Zelda 2 the Adventure of Link. In the last part we made it, we tackled Death Mountain and made it up to the third palace, we learned the fairy spell. In this part we're going to do none other than uh, tackle the third palace. Now um, if you have these stats you should be fine, like this, these enemies are really, those. these are also really strong enemies at this point in the game, but they went down in a, uh, they went down in a, uh, what, what the hell am I trying to say? I'm almost dead also, but uh, they went, um, they went down in like three hits. I wouldn't say this is too much of a step up in difficulty compared to the second palace. Like, there's some points that are annoying, yes, and like, um, like, cause like, um, this is another reason I recommend it. Like, so, so, a lot of the time I don't attack, approach this uh, temple with five, this palace with five attacks. So, uh, yeah, five attack can make this palace much easier, much like Death Mountain. I think I'm gonna do the same pattern of, uh, of I think I'm gonna do the same pattern of uh, life than offense than magic. You need, by the way, you need to downward thrust to get that uh, key, otherwise you're not gonna be able to get it. Get that pee bag also, that tin tanks of 100 XP. Pee bags that are in temples or in dungeons or in palaces are restorable, but it's just the ones that are out in the wild that aren't. Well, uh, we got out of that, but uh, that's the problem. We need to jump in order to, um... All right, we're out of that at least. We're out of that problem, but um... Yeah, fortunately, we're, try we're trying to do this dungeon also two lives and also remember I said the statues are very random Sometimes they can contain a uh, sometimes they contain magic sometimes they contain a red iron knuckle uh, Unfortunately at the beginning it contained a red iron knuckle. So, um, yeah, that was unfortunate If we can get a life upgrade we should be fine Anyways, so, um, I'm trying to remember, um, how to get out of it. I'm trying to remember this next area. I think it's, are we, um... It, there's also going to be a brutal, and I mean a very brutal new enemy in this, uh, next dungeon. That key also. This, in one of these next rooms, is going to contain a very brutal new enemy. I think it's a great contender for one of the worst enemies in the whole game. the red iron knuckle they take three hits now but um we're going to um first of all we're gonna lure this asshole out these are the blue iron knuckles they're a great contender for one of the worst enemies in the game yeah we just took a death right there but uh yes yeah, so we have to go we have to go through this restless temple on one uh life so uh as long as we get the life upgrade, we should be fine, but I'm going to cast up a shield again. I don't really have a good strategy to kill them other than wait until he puts all his swords out. Can't just jump and slash like he can with the other iron knuckles. Or hit any ship, this asshole should be down, but um... One more hit and that asshole should be down, but um, I might risk it and go for an attack bonus, but I just can't die because um, if we can get six attack, we'll be able to not only level up um life easier, we'll also be able to um, we'll also be able to plow through the next dungeon easier. But I think this will be the last video I record in this session. I'll game over on purpose just to save. That is if things go according to plan because Zelda 2 can be a little annoying at times. So I think this game's more annoying than hard. Like it's more annoyingly hard, like with the game unfair game over stuff. Another red iron knuckle. They dropped the pee bag, sweet, but um We're gonna try to see if we can go for a uh we're gonna try to see if we can go for, um, what's the correct phrase, an attack upgrade? Even if we can't, um, I s sometimes have a hard time in this room though, but, um, 
The way I usually have an easier time getting out of this room is um, I use the jump spell. Unfortunately, though, we're now official. We might be officially out of magic. So, like, um, yeah, blue iron knuckles are the introductory enemies in this dungeon, and they are very brutal enemies. I think they're great candidate for one of the worst enemies in the whole game. Cause like you can't really do the typical jump and then like when you're in like time your your sword hits like you know with the other blue knuckles you have to flat out be patient with them. Oh yeah, they took four hits, not three. But um, actually, I might need to get I might need to get more magic because we're approaching the boss and I can't shield and. I don't want to spoil anything, but the next boss is going to be a blue iron knuckle. Yeah, it's a little hard to fight these red iron knuckles with uh, no um, no ceiling, but uh, yeah, it's either game over or can I shield? I can't shield. I don't have, I don't have enough magic, but um, hopefully he's not too bad with five attack. I probably should have just gone for the six up, the life upgrade, but uh, I'm gonna have to do a massive jump cut if I fail this boss. Okay, that was close. Yeah, the blue iron knuckle on a horse will kind of grab you right there. Yeah, it's not, his horse is like a shield, so um, you want to time your down thrust. You cannot beat this boss without getting the down thrust. Oh shit. Yep, I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so back at the boss, and this wasn't too bad. It only took me like five minutes to get back to this area, because even though you do when you game over, you do start back at Zelda, and I have a full set of three lives, so um Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Problem is I don't have a second controller compared to my NES. I probably and I chose not to save during the recording case because I did have a failed take of this, but um it. God, I hate blue iron knuckles so fucking much. Oh, that's second death. Well, I went here. With, I have full. I have multiple lives now. So um, and I plus I can use the healing spell this time. But um, probably should have used the life upgrade. Um, I regret not doing that because I might regret it later. Oh shit. Sorry for the lack of commentary, I'm really trying to focus on this. Add the life spell in case uh problem is he I have to kind of lure him out. Yeah, you know, we're using the life spell. I just suck at fighting blue iron knuckles. Come on, one more hit. All right, there he is, finally. Fortunately, it's not enough to get a uh, upgrade, so unfortunately we have to cut our losses with upgrades. Okay, 
Alrighty, so, um... Yeah, so I will deliberately game over off screen and, um... Yeah, I'm gonna, um... I'll deliberately game over off screen, get rid of my two lives, so, uh... Actually, I'll, I'll just, uh... We're just gonna drain out our health because I want to be able to find a state a way to save. And the only way you can save in these earlier Zelda is by game overing. Alrighty, so um We are going to just save in order to get cut off, fucking cut off this part because um, I've got a weekend's worth of Zelda 2 to record, but um, recorded, but uh, yeah. So now, um, now that we game overed, um, I will see you guys next time on Zelda 2, where we tackle the adventure link, where we tackle um, none other than. Am I trying to? Sit? We tackle the fourth palace. See you guys then. Thank you.